This message is not about paradise. This message is about process. This message is about the fight for faith in the middle. If God gets in your life, he's going to get all up in the middle of it. And so Peter said, sometimes you are so focused on what's behind you, and you are so focused and concerned and anxious about what's ahead of you, you are missing the presence of God. He is not the great I was, and he is not the great I will be. He is the great I am, and his presence is not just for heaven. One day, the kingdom of God is at hand. He's here in the middle. Sometimes you have to look back and see how far God has already brought you. So salvation means I am not what I once was. My expectation is that as I walk with God and as I make decisions to follow him, that this gap behind me will get bigger and the gap in front of me will get smaller. But guess what God does? When you take a step, when you make a move, when I step, you step. Watch this. God moves too. The same grace that created this gap between where I was and where I am is the grace I need. I step, you step to keep moving forward. So God says to everyone who's in the middle of something right now, keep stepping. Stay in the middle. I need a gap that makes me grateful and a gap that makes me grow. If you're looking for the grace of God, don't look to your deathbed and don't look to your past. He is the great I am. If you're looking for the grace of God, put your eyes on that middle cross, but don't look at your past. You're not going that way. And don't even worry about your future. God is already there. If you're looking for the grace of God, it's in the middle. I need somebody to praise God right here, right now, for His grace in the middle.